Good stuff. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good evening if you're across the pond over there like the Harderies are. Appreciate you guys. Happy Monday. Welcome to the week. My name is Austin Zuloff out here in Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, I want to I want to talk today about something just a little bit different. You know, most of the folks that I've spoken with that are very successful in the network marketing space, uh, they weren't born with a silver spoon in their mouths, which I actually just figured out where uh, where that, that saying came from uh, yesterday. It's interesting. But uh, I've actually noticed this. it's quite the opposite. OK, so most folks that I've spoken with got, uh, you know, they, they got involved in the network marketing space. They did so because things weren't great in their lives, or at least they weren't, uh, you know, they were wanting to improve the quality of their life or get some, some time freedom or financial freedom back. Here's something I believe a lot of people don't consciously realize, though. They decide to join a company for whatever reason, you know, whether it be they like the product or they like their upline, their sponsor. Uh, they want the circle of friends that comes with being plugged into that network marketing company or, you know, they have a, a, a vision to better their lives, but they never make the decision. And that's what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about making the decision. You know, when I was growing up, we lived in my grandma's attic in her old farmhouse for the first several years of my life. And uh, no, no heating and air and all that. It was just, it was, when it was hot, it was hot. We had a box fan that we'd set in the, uh, uh, in the window. And uh, I mean, for the first several years of my life, this was this is where we lived at. And then we finally got a home of our own, but, but I wasn't born into money. Uh, my parents didn't know anything about making money. And frankly, they still don't know a whole lot more than they knew then. Uh, they didn't know anything about investing money or anything at all, really. So they didn't have uh, a, a financially abundant life. And they really didn't have a lot to offer as far as you know, knowledge or guidance on how to create wealth. I've made the decisions that I'm not continuing that struggle right? I've made the decision that this is going to be the generation that changes the course of my genealogy forever. You have to make the decision, whatever you're making the decision about and whatever you're making the decision for. You know, could be that you're making the decision that, you know, you're going to be the one that makes sure your kids' college tuitions are paid for in cash, you know, that you'll never have to ask your husband for the checkbook again. The decision that you'll be able to finally give your wife the honeymoon that she deserved. You know, that you're going to retire your mom like I did a few years back. Or it could be something as simple as you're not going to take any more crap from that know-it-all boss that doesn't appreciate you. And, you know, you're going to use Zealous as the vehicle to get you out of that situation or into that lifestyle that you dream of. And you won't take one single day off from building towards your dream until you achieve it. I mean, it's just a decision. You know, I had someone that came to me recently and, um, and they said, you know, Austin, I, you know, I've been in too many network marketing companies as is. I've decided this is going to be where I build a legacy for the rest of my life. And I'm going to make consistency my slave. I may not get there in the next week or the next month or even the next year. Now, I'm not sure, but I promise that I'll build daily, every single day. And that means Christmas. That means my birthday, Jesus's birthday, New Year's Eve. And I'll be the most consistent person you've ever seen. And that got me excited. I don't know if you guys know this or not. But we've got folks that have made millions and millions of dollars in the network marketing space in our organization. Folks that have made over $10 million. You know, we, um, I think we actually have some folks that have made over $20 million in, in the network marketing space throughout their career. And it's always great whenever we get one of these industry icons, one of these absolute legends that comes on board that person was not one of them. And I got more excited about that than I do an absolute legend coming on board because whenever someone truly makes the decision and you can see it, you can feel it. 
whenever they decide to make consistency their slave and they're going to show up every day until and despite until they hit their goals, despite the challenges, despite the roadblocks, despite the rejection or whatever, guys, that got me excited because they made the decision and they're actually starting to follow through. And I mean, that just, that just lights my soul on fire. Here's the final thought I want to leave you with since, you know, we've been talking about making the decision. Okay. Uh, and I want you to really think about this. Okay. Because oftentimes, I don't think that we, we think about things from the perspective I'm about to bring. Every moment of your life, you're making one of two decisions. One, you're making the decision to be remembered, to be a person people remember whenever they pass, a person people remember to call during the holidays a person people remember and, and, and love, you know, heck, just, just a person that people remember. And uh, two, I think it was two years ago or three years ago, I was down in Atlanta, Georgia, working with an author named John C. Maxwell. He's written a lot of books on leadership. He works with um, uh, world leaders and countries to develop leadership inside of governments. Now, uh, phenomenal gentleman. And he's in his seventies now. Everything he does, he said, is thought uh, uh, thought of in, in terms of his legacy. He's at that point in his life. He just wants to be remembered in a certain light. He wants that legacy, right? So every moment of every day, you're making one of two decisions with your thoughts and actions. One is to be remembered. Or two, you're making the decision through your actions to be forgotten, to be a person no one remembers, that's lost in the pages of history, that's like they never existed. And if you're like me, that scares the hell out of me. I wanna be remembered. You know, I want to have a legacy. I wanna leave an impact on this world. Every moment you're spending, you're either building a legacy, you're either doing something to be remembered or to be forgotten. Don't be afraid to open up, you know, to put content out there. Maynard's doing a, a bunch of very nice videos uh, very, uh, you know, there's, there's lots of people on this Zoom that are vulnerable on social media and vulnerable to people one-on-one. -on -one. Don't be afraid to open up and to put content out there to help others, to give of yourself. We've got an incredible culture here at Zealous. The people here are first class, top notch. Don't be afraid to be remembered because I've met a lot of people in my lifetime, but I only remember some. I actually remember quite a few, but in the grand scheme of things, it's only some. And I'm proud to say I'll remember a whole lot of good people from these Zooms, you know, from the Facebook group, from the culture we're building here, from the meetings and the conventions that we're going to have. And I'll remember you for the rest of my life. I want to leave you with a, uh, another thought. God feeds the baby birds every morning, doesn't he? But he doesn't shove the worms down their throat does he? All right. So whatever you want out of this life, whatever you wanted to use the network marketing vehicle for, today is the day you make the decision to stand for what you believe in, that you make the decision to be someone today, that your future self will be proud to know and understand that today is the day we do something about our lives. Love you guys as zealous. This concludes our Monday motivational Zoom. Let's have a week to remember and let's break some records. I appreciate you all. Have a great day. Have a day that makes a difference.